Welcome to Creator View Chronicles. This is the video series where I'm documenting the journey on building my indie app, Creator View. And we're gonna talk about everything from the idea, the design, uh, how I'm building it, monetization strategy, how the launch went. I'm gonna share income you know, throughout the months. And after launch, I'll talk about what kind of customer feedback I'm getting, what new features I decided to implement, uh, if this is successful, do I continue building it by myself or do I hire developers, build a proper team around it, raise money, build a startup? There's so many potential options that I think documenting the journey from basically the beginning, I think is going to be like really cool. And that's what this video series is going to be. Now, this first video is an introduction to the series and the product overall. Now, I'm also recording these in the past by the time you're watching this uh, because I want my real thoughts and real reactions as I'm building it, as I'm going through things, rather than after launch trying to record all this and right, remember what happened a month ago. So what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna have a bunch of episodes like banked up. So around the launch of Creator View, I'll probably be releasing these like one a day. However, once that backlog is, is released, the updates will probably be about once a month, where I update you on like how downloads are going, how sales are going, what's the customer feedback like, you know, how I'm thinking about things. So basically, in the beginning, episodes are gonna come out fast and furious, but you should probably expect this about once a month, once things settle in. So what is the product Creator View? What problem am I trying to solve? Well, to put it simply, Creator View is meant to provide a, a macro view or a 30,000 foot view of your YouTube business. And real quick, I call it a YouTube business, but most YouTubers know, like yeah, they make money off AdSense, but usually they're building products around their YouTube channel. Like myself, I build uh, iOS developer courses, right? Or I take on sponsorships or I do some consulting. But the business is based around the YouTube channel, just for the context on like what a, a YouTube business is. But anyway, Creator View is meant to curate a bunch of data to help you make big picture, again, those 30,000 foot view decisions on the direction of your business, right? I'm not talking about like, what video should I make tomorrow? This is like, how do I want this business to grow and evolve over the next two, three, four, five years? Like those type of big picture directional decisions. And really I'm solving my own problem. And that's typically the best way to build a product is when like you are the prime customer, like you are the one with the problem. So that's the approach I'm taking. And let me kind of illustrate that for you. So my YouTube business is basically run on a giant spreadsheet. There's charts, there's, it's just a big spreadsheet uh, mixed with a bunch of notes in my notes app, right? And I'm sure many of you like me just live in your, in your notes app. So I got like 15 different notes regarding my YouTube business ideas and all that stuff combined with my spreadsheet. So this is all just haphazard spread all over the place. So I wanna combine all that into one nice neat package, right, in this app. And where this came into play for me, a little, little story time, give you the, the example, I'll paint a, a weird picture for you. But you know, when I would be brainstorming about my business, again, the big picture, where do I wanna be in three to five years type stuff, uh, you know, I would, you know, throw on some music, pour a glass of wine, or when I was in California, partake in some other stuff to get my mind into a uh, creative state, if you will, to think outside the box, just, you know, really be creative and come up with good ideas for the business. And while I was doing this, uh, you know, I would have my spreadsheet up, I would have all my notes app, you know, usually I'd be like walking around with my iPad. And I kept thinking to myself as I'm, you know, again, trying to navigate a giant spreadsheet on my iPad, you probably know how bad that sucks. Like, I was like, man, I wish this was all in an app that had all my data nicely visualized that I could manipulate the data. It would really help out. And so, yeah, that's basically what I'm building. A tool to give creators, again, that big picture macro view of their YouTube business to help them make these directional decisions. Let me give you a basic example of a real decision that I made based on this data. Uh, so here's the pie chart of my 2020 income. And you'll notice most of my income comes from selling courses, but there's a pretty big chunk that's consulting. And my take on, by the way, consulting is me building other people's apps, right? People wanted an app built or, or helping them, whatever. Basically me working for another company, essentially, not as an employee, just as you get what I'm saying. Uh, but anyway, the, the time I spend there, as you can see, that chunk of the pie is pretty big. You know, I think it was like 30 to 40%. So I'm spending 30 to 40% of my time helping somebody else build their business, build their dreams. And there's opportunity costs to that, right? If I'm spending 30 to 40% of my time helping them, that's a lot of time that I'm not spending building my business, right? And when you build your own business, that kind of stuff like compounds over time. So I realized that I don't want to do consulting. It was taking up too much of my time. Even though the short-term money was like really nice, that's what it made me realize. That I was like, man, I'm going after the short-term gain at the sacrifice of building for the long-term. And I know this is just a simple pie chart. You don't need an app to show you a pie chart of your income, of course. 
but that is just a very basic example of some of the decisions that I was thinking about on how like, okay, in 2021, I really wanna make that consulting uh, piece of the pie really, really small and focus on my stuff, uh, you know, courses or creator view, cause you don't see a creator view slice of the pie. Hopefully that changes, but you get the idea. Uh, seeing that kind of thing made me make big picture decision on what I wanted to work on for my business and how I wanted my business to evolve over time. Now, another thing I want to point out, mainly because I'm going to have to like, going to have to be good with my messaging on the product, because as you might be putting together, this product isn't really meant for like hobbyist YouTubers. And I don't, I don't say that as like a derogatory term, right? Some people just do YouTube as a fun hobby, right? And they may be looking for a fun app. This is actually targeted towards, at least for now, we'll talk about that in a second, but this is targeted towards people who are either running a full-time business off their YouTube channel or making good enough income. Like they're, they're making thousands a month or uh, you know tens of thousands a month. And the reason I say that is because I plan on charging $20 a month for this product. Now, of course, I have to make a product that's worth that, but also at the same time, the reason why I said it's not for hobbyist YouTubers, you know, if you're making $50 to $100 a month on your YouTube channel, you probably don't want to spend $20 a month on a product like this. Now, eventually, the product can evolve uh, as time goes on, as more and more features get built, as the product matures, right? Eventually, I could do a tiered pricing structure, right? I would have like a, a beginner version or a hobbyist version, whatever I call it, and then the pro version. So maybe the, the hobbyist version is, you know, super duper cheap. Maybe even there's a free tier, who knows? Uh, and then there's the pro version that is the whole kitchen sink that has all the power user type stuff for people that are running a full-time business. So eventually that's where I see it going to where I can support the beginner hobbyist market, whatever you want to call it. But to start, because again, when you're building a product, you got to start small, start narrow. I am targeting those that are making, again, thousands a month to 10,000 a month to even higher uh, on their YouTube business. Before we wrap up this video, I want to go back in time and talk about like the genesis of this idea because those that have been following me for a while know that I've been talking about this idea for about two years now. And up until recently, I've been all talk. And you know, I welcome all the, the shit talking, I deserve it, right? I have been all talk. But now we're really building it. But again, it's fun to go back and look at my initial thought back then two years ago, because the premise back then was different than it is now. Uh, back then I was doing YouTube videos, Twitch live streams, podcasts, you know, Instagram posts, Patreon posts, right? Like, and I wanted a calendar that was no frills and I could easily just be like, okay, this is a YouTube video, this is a Twitter post, this is an Instagram post, and then like color code those and drag and drop, no frills calendar. I know you can do that in the default iOS calendar, you know, Notion and all that stuff, but they just do way too much. Like I don't care what time it was, I just wanted to know what day it was. I didn't care what location, right? They just, I wanted a simple no frills scheduler for all my social media stuff. And it was originally targeted at all content creators, bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers, live stream, whatever. I've since narrowed that down to just YouTubers, uh, as we'll see in, in coming videos. But uh, as I'm showing on the screen here, you can see it was initially an iPhone app too. Uh, now, I don't think I mentioned this yet, CreatorView now is going to launch as iPad only. We'll talk about the reasons for that in future videos. Um, and eventually be a Mac app as well. So be, basically be an iPad and Mac app in, in the future. Uh, maybe an iPhone companion app that can't do everything because there's a reason it's an iPad app and a Mac app. It's gonna be like a, a powerhouse is what I want it to grow to essentially that you can't really do on a phone. So maybe there'll be a phone companion app where you can do a little bit or you can view your data. That's probably reasonable, but for the most part, it's gonna be an iPad and a Mac app. But back to the original idea. Again, I wanted to talk about this little section to see how it started, the genesis of it all, because over these next few videos that you're starting to watch now, uh, you're gonna see the MVP, which is the minimum viable product, which is usually the bare bones skeletal version that you, you launch with essentially. And you're gonna see how the original idea evolved into the MVP, which is gonna evolve into whatever the product grows and matures into over the years. And I think it'll be fun to watch that whole journey from the start, which is essentially uh, this video. So if you're into indie app development and you're, you're curious about what it takes to build a product, monetize it, try to build a business around it, uh, I think this is the series for you. I'm looking forward to making these videos. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a fun journey.